Hello from Copenhagen. My name is Jakob Nicholson, and I'm the game director on Hitman. Hi everyone, my name is Eskil Møll and I'm the associate game director on Hitman. And we're here to talk to you about the Game of the Year edition, which we've just released. So let's have a look at what we came up with and why we think it's something quite special. First of all, it's a really big package, filled with lots of upgrades, new content and many, many improvements all across the board. One of the first things you'll notice is a drastic change in the colors and the lighting. I think our lighting team did an amazing job reworking all of the locations. On Xbox One X, we have native 4K resolution and a high frame rate mode for a smooth 60 FPS experience. But now, let's get to the meaty side of things. Let's talk about the new content. We have new disguises, we have new weapons, we have new twists and escalations, and of course a new campaign titled Patient Zero. It is our interpretation of a Hitman short story. Built on the foundation of everything we've learned since we started building Hitman games, which in case of me and Eskil, is a really long time. Having the campaign detached from the main storyline in Season 1 gave us a lot more freedom creating a new adventure for 47. For us, it's a chance to come up with new moments, new characters, new set pieces, and some new gameplay experiences across the different missions. It's basically four missions escalating from regular assassinations to the prevention of a global pandemic. The story starts in Bangkok. 47 must infiltrate an art exhibit that is staged by a death cult. Problem is that when he does, Diana finds out that 47 actually triggered a kill switch. So now he must race against the clock to prevent a virus from spreading. From Bangkok, we travel to Sapienza, where we must take out the author of the book series called The Snow Diaries. He has organized a book reading in the church, which of course has been lavishly decorated for the occasion. We did a twist on the atmosphere here, because his novels are very much based on the supernatural, and we had a blast giving Sapienza a ghostly makeover. Candles, layered fog, eerie noises, church bells at midnight. And we also recorded new music for this level, which ties everything neatly together. And for the first time in the game, you can actually dress up as one of your targets. Actually, you can dress up as both of them, which is, I think, pretty cool. After Sapienza, we make our way to the US. Colorado is very different. It's a daytime sniper mission where Diana drip feeds you intel as the time progresses. 47 and Diana do not know who the targets are, but they're both getting intel along the way. You'll need to use that information to identify who the targets are. And each time you play, it's going to be a different combination. Could it be this person? Could it be that person? It's got to be that one. In a nutshell, it's like finding Waldo and then killing him. It's also a nod to a classic, the St. Petersburg Stakeout mission in Silent Assassin. A 47 has to be careful, because if people realize that they're being shot at, they will evacuate and flee the scene, which will of course fill the mission. We also put quite a few hidden gimmicks in there, like a new game mechanic, which enables you to land a precise shot that will hide your target's body in certain containers or bushes. Last but not least, the final mission in Hokkaido. The virus is out, it is spreading, and you must contain it to complete the mission. Sounds simple, but as always, things easily get out of hand. All right, let's talk about what else we have in store for you guys. First up, we have Corky the Clown, a fan favorite which we brought back from the mission A New Life in Hitman Blood Money. And it comes with a colorful wooden club called a new bat. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Raven suit, which has more of a suave, classic assassination vibe to it. It goes hand in hand with the Ghost 300 sniper rifle, which has this extra level of zoom that I personally enjoy very much. And it also has this little awesome green LED shiny dot that for some reason makes me fall in love with this rifle. And finally, an over-the-top cowboy outfit. It comes with a striker pistol, which is basically the most powerful handgun in the world. It's mighty, it's loud, and the bullets penetrate targets. So you gotta ask yourself one question, Eskil. Yeah, I don't think anyone would feel lucky in front of that thing. 
We thought it could be cool to frame these new outfits and weapons in their own little missions. So you will need to complete these themed escalations to unlock the awesome new weapons. We have the Raven Suit Escalation, which is pretty much stealth at its finest. We have the very playful cowboy in the middle with a focus on trespassing. And then on the more extreme and colorful end, we have the Corky Commotion Escalation, aka Corky versus Helmut. Another thing I'm really excited about is that elusive targets are coming back. They're being reactivated for all players. We had a lot of people who joined the game late who really wanted to give them a try. So the way we went about doing this is that you can only play the ones you've missed. If you played an elusive target and you finished the mission, then that's it. Your record for that mission is permanent. And for players who played elusive targets the first time around, we have a reward for you guys, a special coin that reflects how well you played the elusive targets. So, that's our Game of the Year edition for you. It's out now, and I hope that you will have as much fun playing this as we had making it.